Windmills is one of my favorite exercises to teach rotation work. It's a great way to strengthen the hamstrings and the adductors, open up the sides of your body, and practice your core engagement as you're twisting your body as well. Starting off a reasonably lightweight, either a kettlebell or a dumbbell, and I'll be showing you a few progressions, but let me first go through the full movement. To set yourself up, the distance between your feet is very much dependent on your mobility. If you have reasonably tight hamstrings and adductors, you'll probably find that you have to go in a slightly wider position. The aim is to eventually lead to a narrower stance. One foot is going to be facing side of your torso or technically forwards. You can have the foot come slightly inwards, so it doesn't have to be fully pointed that way. The back foot is going to be at around 45 to 90 degrees. You're going to start with the dumbbell up overhead and we're going to be eventually coming into a full windmill position where our arms are in a nice straight line at the bottom of the movement. From here, push the shoulder up, push the teres muscle out. Punch your wrist up towards the ceiling. You don't want to have a relaxed wrist. You don't want to be fully extended to the point where the arm goes back and you're relaxing, you want everything nice and stacked above your shoulder. Keep watching the dumbbell. As you control down, bottom hand is gonna reach to the floor. When you're in this bottom position, notice how my arms are straight on top of each other in a nice straight line. Then keep watching the dumbbell as you drive up, using your core and your hamstrings and your adductors to drive you up again. As the weight gets heavier, it's gonna be much more difficult to control. If you're not looking at where it is, it's gonna start waving and it's gonna be quite dangerous. Now you're gonna use your inhale to find your mobility. If you find that your inhale stops here, this is your range. And over time, you're gonna build it so you can eventually get to the floor. Inhaling through the nose down, exhaling up through the mouth. If you want to progress the movement slightly and want to get closer to the floor, you can bend that front leg as well. From here, as you control down, you're going to bend the front leg to get you down to the floor and then straighten it as you come back up again. What you can also do is have a feedback from a support in front of you to place your hands down. And that will help if you don't feel comfortable going down without a surface to touch. So you'll find that you have to create overall body tension to perform this movement correctly. We want to get a stretch in the side of our torso, but we want to make sure that the rib cage is able to stay down and we're engaging our obliques rather than opening up the rib cage and this being all loose. So be conscious of that when you're performing the exercise. 